In this video, I'll be breaking down this USD JPY trade that may be 3% in 20 minutes. Now, I'll be breaking it down from A to Z, then going through the live screen recording so you can see my exact thought process when taking live trades. I want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to this channel. It means the world to me. Okay, so for this trade, I'm using the 10 and 1 strategy, and essentially all that means is I'm finding a direction on the 10 minute time frame and looking to enter on the one minute time frame. Okay, so first we need to identify the trend direction. And in this scenario, we're in a bullish structural market. And this is identified by price making higher highs and higher lows. But in this instance, when I came onto the market, I identified that price has just created a double top, which means I could potentially ride down the pullback before the continuation up. Because on the one minute time frame, a pullback on the 10 minute would actually be a substantial amount of a reward. So now we've identified the trend direction and I'm taking a counter trend trade. Now I'm going to try and find the optimal point in the 10 minute time frame. And for me, that's always going to be the most recent order block. And as we can see here, this is our most recent order block. But we don't just take any order block. We only take the order blocks that have a fair value gap just below them. Now, I'm not going to break down in detail what they are today. But essentially, these green lines actually have a gap in between because these wicks aren't connecting and covering this whole candle's body. So now we found the trend direction. We found the optimal point, And we also refined the optimal point by making it a high probability. I'm now going to scale down to the one minute time frame. Now on the one minute, we need to refine the entry again. And we do this by making sure we draw our Fibonacci and we wait for the 705 Fib level to get hit with a candle rejection and close. Now, as we can see here, the one minute time frame has came and filled the gap and also entered our high probability 705 level. So then I waited for the first breaker structure after we've cleared both of these levels, which in this scenario, it was this red momentum candle here now i entered with a breaker structure of the current candles low so we had momentum on our side which is another confluence to start looking to take short now it also entered me a bit late due to spreads but i put my stop loss above the entry candle and in this scenario i just targeted a one to three risk to reward because we're taking a counter trend trade Okay, so that was it. Now I'm going to go and break down the live screen recording. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have my mic played in, but I've wrote down text on the screen exactly what I was thinking at the time. So I think it'll be useful for you guys to learn and see how I'm reacting to the live market condition.
Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this trade and also seeing that I do enter on the live accounts. Now, if you want me to keep doing these type of videos, just let me know down in the comment section below and be sure to stay subscribed so you'll never miss my future videos. Thank you for watching.